short way to remember about features of Bell's palsy or facial nerve palsy or they can also ask about how to examine facial nerve in general surgery exams. So let us see. Difficulty in chewing food. If the patient complains of that or you, you have to ask the patient to chew food and show if they ask you to examine facial nerve. It is because of the buccinator paralysis because facial nerve supplies the muscles of facial expression. So all those muscles will be uh, affected. So this video will compri uh, comprise the features of uh, facial palsy along with the examining methods of facial nerve palsy. Okay, So difficulty in chewing food suggests buccinator is paralyzed. Deviation in the angle of the mouth. If the patient smiles, the corner of the mouth will pull here. And in normal closed state, you have deviation of the corner of the mouth of the affected side downwards. So it is due to levator anguli oris paralysis on the affected side. Then inability to whistle is because of the orbicularis oris muscle, which I have marked here. And unable to close eyelids, even if, even if they shut also, it opens very easily. It is because of orbicularis oculi. And loss of contraction of platysma. Here the platysma is contracted. Okay. So loss of contraction. Even if you ask them to do this. If they are able, unable to do it. Then it is uh, paralysis of the platysma due to facial nerve palsy. And in frowning you could see absence of wrinkles. This is presence of wrinkles in forehead. This is due to the small muscles corrugated supercilia. If frowning is, if this is absent then it is due to uh, facial nerve palsy then in looking upwards or raising your eyebrows you if they don't have wrinkles like this then it is due to paralysis of frontal belly of occipital frontalis which is again supplied by facial nerve so these are some short methods to examine facial nerve hope you use these techniques to answer your uh, question in viva